Hello, welcome. Today we'll learn about a new code pattern that uses a Slack chatbot which communicates with IBM functions and Watson services. The GitHub page consists of details about the pattern and it has a nice architecture diagram. The user interacts from the Slack app and either sends a text or uploads an image. The text or image that is used in the Slack for conversation is then passed to an IBM function API by a bot. The API is a call to an IBM function that categorizes the text or images based on the response of Watson visual recognition and Watson natural language understanding. IBM function then gets the response and if the text is not polite, a message is sent by the bot to the Slack user to be more polite using Slack post message API. If the image used is explicit, the image will be deleted by the IBM function using Slack files delete API. Let's clone the moderator repository and see what the IBM OpenWhisk function looks like. I have used Visual Studio Code Editor to check out the code. The function basically listens for Slack events and based on the Slack input, which could be either text or images, it analyzes them. If it's text, it is classified using natural language understanding service to find out if there are root text. If it's an image, it is classified using Watson Visual Recognition API, which uses the provided explicit classifier that is already trained for usage. Once it has been classified, the function determines if there are any explicit images and text and if there is one, it removes the images or warns the user about the text. Let's now create the Slack app and the bot that communicates with IBM function. Go to api.slack.com slash Slack apps and click create a Slack app button. Provide an app name and the Slack workspace you want the app belong to and click create app button. Slack creates the app and in the app settings, you will see a Slack verification token. Please save it for later use. Next step is to subscribe for events. The app needs to subscribe for messages in, the, in a channel, messages in the groups, and direct messages. You can add them by clicking add workspace events. And also do the same thing for bot events. The request URL is a way to verify that the URL is valid and successfully communicates with IBM function. The IBM function needs to expose an API and when the request URL sends a challenge request, the API needs to provide a response. That's the way it validates the URL. Next step is to add auth token and permissions. Make sure to keep note of auth token, which is used by IBM function later when you deploy the function to the cloud and add permission for the bot so that it can read and write messages within channels, groups, and on one-on-one -on -one chats. Next step is to create the IBM services used by the project. The project uses Watson Natural Language Understanding and Visual Recognition. The verification token and OAuth token that you have saved earlier will be used by this file when you deploy the IBM function. Let's now create the, the IBM services used by the project. Log in to console.bloomix.net and from the catalog search for natural language understanding. Select the light plan and click create button. Make note of the username and password which will be used by the IBM function later. Now, let's create Watson Visual Recognition Service from Catalog. 
search for visual recognition in the search box and select visual recognition service select the light plan which is free and click create button make note of the im key and the url that will be used by the ibm function and the credentials will be deployed when the ibm function is deployed in the project editor copy the params.sample.json to params.json and replace all the credentials that we had made note earlier to that file the credentials from this file will also be uploaded with ibm function as one time thing so that you don't have to use it again and again you can only deploy the function and not worry about the credentials make sure ibm cloud cli are installed from www.ibm.com slash cloud slash cli let's now deploy the ibm function to ibm cloud from the terminal run the following command which you can copy and paste from the readme you have to be in the cloned repo directory in the command we have specified the params.json file and also the kind the kind means that we will be using watson developer cloud sdk provided by ibm function at runtime since mine already exists it gives an already exist message for new one it should be successfully created let's go to ibm cloud function to see if this action is uploaded successfully go to console select function and go to actions you should see newly deployed function you need to make sure you are in the right space let me select us south once that has been selected go to actions you now can see the code that was deployed and the credentials that you uploaded from the params to json by clicking parameters to the left navigation bar this is the code that you have just uploaded earlier it, and this is these are the parameters that was uploaded part of the function let's now expose the api by creating an api out of the function go to functions api and click create managed api button give api name and the base path for example slash api once that's done you can click create operation the operation is in a get api you need to provide a proper url path for instance in this case we can provide slash moderator and choose the action name that we was created from the drop down list now you can click save and expose the api once it's saved Copy the route which has the base path and the get API path from the API Explorer and use that API in the Slack app. Go to Slack app, event subscription and in the request URL, paste the, the copied URL from IBM Cloud function to verify. Once the URL returns response to a challenge request, the URL is verified. The IBM function has code to respond to challenge request. Now you can reinstall the app to save all the changes. Let's see the end-to-end -end demo now. 